In previous class we have studied root 2, root 3 and root 5 are irrational numbers by using a theorem that is p is a prime number and p divides a square and p divides a. We know already root 2, root 3 and root 5 are irrational numbers. For example, this is your fourth example. Root 2 plus root 5. Prove that root 2 plus root 5 is irrational numbers. Or is irrational. We have to prove root 2 plus root 5 is irrational. Here, let us assume. Let us assume root 2 plus root 5 is rational. If we assume a number is a rational number, then we can write in the form of P by Q. We can write this in the form of P by Q that is we will take A by P where A and B are 4 prime. A and B are 4 prime. This will be having except 1. And here, if root 2 a minus b minus root 5. Now, squaring on both sides. We have to simplify this to prove root 2 plus root 5 is irrational. What we will get? Root 2 square a minus b minus root 5 whole square. This will become 2 a by b whole square. Minus 2 into A into B. 2AB plus B square. B is your root 5. Root 5 square. What you will get here? 2 is equal to A square divided by B square. Minus root 5 a by b plus 5. Here, take this 2 root 5 a b one side. Take this 2 root 5 a by b here is equal to minus 2. If it comes here, minus 2. A square divided by B square plus 5 minus 2 will become plus 3. How do we write this? Simplify this. A square plus 3B square divided by B square. If we take A by B on the other side, it will become B by a. Here, 2 root 5. If we take this 2, this side, 1 by 2 or b by 2a, you can cross b by 2a. Here you will get b 1 by 2 ab into a square plus b square is equal to root 5. We already know that root 5 is irrational number and this is rational. By using this rational co-prime numbers, we will get a rational number. Here root 5 is irrational. Irrational number will not be equal to Rational number. 
irrational number will not be equal to rational number. Say, our assumption was, what was our assumption? Root 2 plus root 5 is irrational. Then our assumption is wrong. This is contradiction. So our assumption is wrong. Root 2 plus root 5 is irrational number. Or it is irrational. To prove irrational, any number irrational, first we have to assume that e is a rational number. Then we have to write that in the form of p by q. And we have to simplify until we get the contradiction. Let's take second example that is 2 root 3 minus 1. 2 root 3 minus 1. Let us assume what we have to do is irrational we have to prove. Let us assume the given number that is 2 root 3 minus 1 is rational. If we assume this as a rational, then we will write this in the form of a by b. Take this minus 1 this side, 2 root 3 is equal to a minus b plus 1. How much will we write? a plus b divided by b. Take this 2 in the denominator, that will become 1 by 2. Root 3 equal to 1 by 2 into a plus b by b. Here we know root 3 is irrational. Here we know root 3 is root 3 is irrational. And this 1 by 2 into a plus b by b is Rational because it is in the form of p by q, where q is not equal to 0. Rational is not equal to irrational. So, this is the contradiction. This is contradiction. is wrong here 2 root 3 minus 1 is rational. Take another example that is 4 minus 5 root 2. Is equal to 5 root 2. If we take 5 is like 
1 by 5 into 4b minus a divided by b is equal to root 2. We know already we know root 2 is a irrational number. Then this is in the form of a by b or b by q. Wait, this is a rational number and this is irrational number. Irrational number, rational number cannot be equal to irrational number. Then our assumption is wrong. What was our assumption? 4 minus 5 root 2 was, is rational number. Then our assumption is wrong means this number will be irrational number. Here 1 by 5. 4b minus a divided by b is rational number. Root 2 is root 2 is irrational number. Root 2 is irrational number. Our assumption is before writing our assumption is wrong. This is contradiction. Our assumption is wrong. That is four minus five root two is irrational. Four minus five root two is irrational. Then take another example that is five minus two root three. Five minus If we take 5 minus 2 root 3 as a rational number, let us assume 5 minus 2 root 3 is rational. If any number is rational number, then it will be in the form of p by q is equal to a by b. Where a and b are co prime numbers. Here take minus 2 root 3 in the right side. 5 minus a b. 5 b minus a divided by b is equal to 2 root 3. Take this to outside or left hand side. 5b minus a divided by b is equal to root 3. Already you know root 3 is an irrational number and it is in the form of b by q. Then it is a rational number and this is irrational number. Any rational number is not equal to irrational number and this is contradiction. Here our assumption is wrong. Then 5 minus 2 root 3 is Irrational number. 1 by 2. 5b minus a divided by b is rational number. And second one is root 3 is irrational number. Rational number will not be equal to Irrational number. This is contradiction. This is contradiction. Then our assumption is wrong. Irrational. Five 
y minus 2 root 3 is irrational. Then take another example 1 by root 2. Take another example to prove rational or irrational. That is 1 by root 2. What we have to do first step? We have to assume. Let us assume 1 by root 2 is rational number. If any number is a rational number, then it will be or it can be written in the form of p by q. 1 by root 2 is equal to a by p. Where a and b are co-prime. Where a and b are co-prime. One by root two is equal to a by b can be written as root two reverse in the order. One by root two is root two is equal to b by a. Where b by a is in the form of a. p by q, then that is the rational number. Where root we know root two is irrational number. Root 2 is not equal to b by a. b by a is rational number. And root 2 is in rational number. Root 2 is in rational number. Rational number can't be equal to the rational number. Then, this is contradiction or contradictory statement. Here, our assumption is Rational number. First, what we have to do? We have to assume a number that is irrational number, and rational number can be in the form of p by q. That is, we will take a by b, and where a and b are co prime numbers, we have to simplify by having 1 by 2 is equal to a b, then we will get b by a is rational number and two root 2 is irrational number and this is a contradiction that is rational is not equal to irrational number. Our assumption is wrong. Then 1 by root 2 is irrational number. Then take another example 2 minus 3 root 5. Minus three root five. Let us assume two minus three root five is rational number. Then that will be in the form of is equal to a by b, where a and b are co prime. Then take this. A by B in the left hand side, move 3 root 5 to the right hand side. 2P minus A divided by B is equal to 3 root 5. Take this 3 to the left hand side, then we will get 1 by 3 into 2P minus A divided by B equal to root 5. Here, we 
you already know that root 5 is irrational number. Then this number is in the form of v by q. 1 by 3 into 2b minus a divided by b is in the form of p by q. Then this is rational number. Rational number can't be equal to irrational number. So our assumption is wrong. This is contradiction method. 2 minus 3 root 5 is irrational number. 1 by 3 into 2b minus a divided by b is rational number. And root 5 is irrational number. Then this is contradiction. Because rational can't be equal to irrational number. Our assumption is wrong. minus 3 root 5 is irrational number. To prove irrational, we have to assume the given number as rational and we have to write that in the form of p by q that is a by b and we have to simply simplify until Rational is not equal to irrational and that will be our contradiction. Then our assumption is wrong. The given number will be irrational.